hello welcome today we are going to look at how we can draw an ellipse using a general method a general method in the sense that this method is applicable for uh, both an ellipse a parabola and hyperbola now for our ellipse here we've been given the, the distance of the focus from the directrix as 50 millimeters and the eccentricity as 2 over 3. now let me explain something uh, small on eccentricity Eccentricity is a ratio, it marks the point uh, of vertex in relation, vertex of the ellipse in relation to the focal uh, point or the focus under the directrix. So that uh, 2 as the numerator represents the distance between the vertex to the focus and then 3 as uh, the number of units or the distance between the vertex of the ellipse to the directrix. So if we have the eccentricity, as you can see, as it is uh, being smaller than 1, then it means it's going to be an ellipse. If it's equal to 1, then it means it's going to be a parabola. But if it's greater than 1, then the curve that will be formed will be hyperbola. Now let's start by drawing the major axis if we want to draw our ellipse. So it means we shall start by drawing our axis the major axis here we can start our drawing from there once we have that we can now have our vertical axis in this case it's going to give us our directory so we can take our t square together with our z square and then we draw our directory maybe from there it goes upwards so that is the first step when you want to draw our ellipse. The next step, we are going to establish our focus on the axis. And our focus is 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter from the directrix, uh, 5 centimeter, I mean, that is 50 millimeter from the directrix. So we can say, let our focus be there because that's where we have our 50 millimeter. Then we can call it, we can call the directrix here as d d1 now once we are through with that we are going to divide our lens f to the directrix and we can call this point as o to the directrix at o into five equal parts so we have to divide this uh, of into five equal parts now we take your compass the normal way of div dividing a straight line we make the five divisions let's say this is the first one two three four lastly five once we are through with that we can still now transfer those points so that we start by the last point to the last mark at f we join we join this so with edges we can now start transferring first of all a line then we can do the transferring so we move this it gives us the first point there it transfers the second point it transfers the third point then lastly to transfer the now as you can see these are five division this is one two three four five two uh, with our eccentricity it means our point v should be one two and here is the point once we have the vertex we can have a line so we are going to be drawing uh, first of all we have to draw a line through v that is equal to uh, vf we take your compass and then we set it to f and then you can now make an arc up there then you draw a line through v you can have your straight edge you draw a line through v you draw a straight line through v So 
so this is the first point you can make it then we are going to draw lines uh, away from v uh, vertical lines away from v which are uh, having equal distances we can still take this one as our interval of those lines so we take this distance we just continue I'm not saying this is the distance that you'll be using but it's just an, a bit trivial for my case I've just taken it but you can take 10 or 20 or 15 millimeters depending on how you want it to be so like mine I'm going to have vertical lines passing through those points I'm marking so once you are through it I can still continue a bit once I'm through with this I'm going to make vertical lines. These vertical lines here will be cutting through, cutting through those points I've, I've drawn or I've marked. So the first line will pass there. Morning. So we draw our lines through those points. First line. We just continue. In fact, another line is going to coincide with our F. Just draw it. We just draw them. We continue dividing. We divide. So you just continue dividing the lines passing through those points. We continue dividing. So once you have drawn these lines, I'm going to show you how you are going to come up with the points. We can name these lines as a, a one. Okay, before naming, we are going to draw a line passing through this point. We measured VF to that particular point. So we draw a straight line passing through that point from O and that line is going to be extended so that it cuts through the vertical lines we have drawn starting there passing through the coin now we are naming this one as one one prime two two prime three three prime four four prime five five prime six six prime seven seven prime eight eight prime nine nine prime nine ten ten prime eleven eleven prime the next step is now we are going to be taking center f with uh, those lines of radius from legs for example this one we shall take one one prime then at f we make x along the one one prime so we start at that one we pick that distance we stand with it at f and then we make an arc on that particular line okay the next one is two two prime and then we stand with it at F because it is in the same in the same point F is at the same point next is 3 3 prime 
at f we make up a, a point a mark then we also make a mark next is four four prime at f make a mark at that line sorry this one was supposed to cut here so because it's already cut we can still repeat this one is was supposed to be three three prime at f so it was supposed to be cut here and here then our f is here so we don't use this next is five five prime we eat at f we cut on the same line of five five next is six six prime at f the same line of six of six next is seven seven prime at f on the same line of seven seven eight eight prime at f on the same line of eight same line of eight nine nine prime same line from f of nine of nine then ten ten prime at f on the same line of ten same line of ten eleven eleven prime on the same line from f eleven eleven then as you can see we are remaining with this center line it means we have to complete it so we complete this the same way so we have to bring this again then we draw that line so we again take we are calling it now 12 12 prime so from 12 12 prime at f as you can see it will not cut but it will be somewhere in, in so once we are through with that we are going to join those points so this is like a vertex this is also like a vertex we are going to join the points with a curve so that point will pass through b and then form all points of intersection so i can start from here so that now my curve is going to pass through it continues that way once it reaches there it comes it is a fine curve passes through here here we can come passes through there should be continuous so don't mind it's somehow fluctuating because i'm using a pen but we shall complete once you reach there how to come back to the original point So this is how we draw our ellipse using a general method. We started right here by having the focus and then establishing our vertex using our eccentricity and uh, having now our drawing. And we first of all drew the major axis and the directrix. Then we established our F, we established our B. Then we had this distance from B to that point, which is equivalent from B to 
f then we had these vertical lines that are drawn away from v at given equal distances they can be a number then we shall now be drawing x by taking the red, red eye of those lines as they cut through that particular line so that the first one is one one prime we stand with it at f we make x on the same line so that one will be repeated for all other lines then we shall establish uh, the points where our ellipse will be uh, passing through thank you for attending so don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel for the notification of more content